At least the rescue's going well. Ah! 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 
That won't hold them for long. Whoa! Of course! There's deep on here. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. in your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. think that's the end of Spierger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, 
Now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah! Damn it, Linda! Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Hmm. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. Let's make something, then. We got more lip flapping to do, or no? Need something special? What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl, we're here! Guess we should follow her. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker.
more of Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie, the nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. And there she goes. Elsa. Can't be far now. How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared of this place? Uh, on that note, Dragon! <laughs> I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. <laughs> Hello there. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Raditas group whenever you're ready.
Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. Over here. Oh, many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby. But I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. Talk later. <sighs> Big man! Boss needs your help coaxing this stag back to the world tree. The boss needs your help, mind you. Not me. I'm doing great. Got a belly full of stag feed, living life, but yeah, talk to him back to the round between rounds when you got a moment. I'll see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Well, with Birger safe, we can get out of here. Or explore some more, if you wanna. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. I was looking for you. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling. 
which is not ideal, considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilers asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since, since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. You know, <clears throat> you know we used to leave Vanna together when we were young. Now we're so talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay. I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How? In all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. 
None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. Too soon. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you have it. And therein lies a tale.